Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Excel can store information in tables. An Excel table is information stored in a table format and explicitly defined as being a table within Excel. When you store information in a table format, you place the different types of information that you want to collect in columns, which are called fields in database terminology. Each field contains a separate type of information. Examples could be first name, last name, title, address, city, state, and so forth. Each row in a table is called a record. A record is a single entry in which you record each type of field information about the subject of your table. For example, within a customer's table that contains the fields in the previous example, a record in that table might contain the information John, Doe, Mr. 111 Nowhere Lane, any town in Michigan. When entering data into a table, avoid creating entirely blank columns or rows. Having blank columns and rows within a table can often lead to problems with sorting and filtering table data. Before you create a table in Excel, you need to consider what information you want to collect. Sometimes it is easier to think of what fields to create after thinking of the subject of the table first. For example, if you wanted to create a table to record customer data, you would need to think about what information you want to collect about your customers. The types of information that you decide to track will become the fields or columns in your table. For the purpose of the example, assume that you decided to record your customer's name, address, city, state, and zip code. When thinking of the field structure of the table, you need to consider just how detailed you want to be with the customer's information. Poor decisions in the planning phase can be problematic later. For example, do you want to record the customer's name in one field or more than one field? If you ever want to sort the database by the last name of the customer, you will probably want to store the customer's names in at least two fields, first name and last name. Noting little things like this during the creation process can save time in editing the table structure later on after it becomes a problem. Once you've decided what information you would like to record in which field, you enter the titles of these fields as the top row within your table. The top row in your table is a special row and is often called the header row. It is always the top row in a table and it displays the names of the fields for which you are collecting data. Once you have the header row created, you can then define it as being a table to enable the table management features of Excel. To do this, select the cells within the header row and then click the table button that appears in the tables button group on the insert tab in the ribbon. In the create table dialog box that appears, you will see the reference to the selected cells appear in the where is the data for your table text box. Check the my table has headers checkbox and then click the OK button. This will then create the table area within the worksheet and add a new row into which you can enter your first table record. Another way to create a table in Excel is to create the header row of your table and then enter as many records as you would like to initially record. Then click and drag over the entire table including the header row and all records entered to select it. Once it has been selected, you can then click the Format as Table button that appears in the Styles button group on the Home tab within the ribbon. You can then select the desired table style to apply from the drop-down menu shown. At this point, the Format as Table dialog box will appear. The range of selected cells should appear within the Where is the Data for Your Table field. If your table has a header row at the top of the table, be sure to check the My Table Has Headers checkbox. Then click the OK button to apply the selected style, as well as define the range of cells as being a table. Note that each field within the header row of a table has a drop-down button within it. These are auto filters which are used to filter data within the table. We will look at using those in a later lesson. Also notice that the table has a different formatting than the rest of the worksheet area. This table style encloses any records that you want to identify as being part of your table. Note that you can place your mouse pointer over the lower right corner of the table until you see a double pointed black arrow appear and then click and drag down or to the right with your mouse to resize the table border to include new columns or rows if needed. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.